Teresa Freed with Johnson County Government. It's our goal to stop the spread of COVID-19 in our community. We also want to make sure you have the latest information on our efforts. For data on how COVID-19 is impacting the county, visit our dashboard on jocogov.org. Rates of cases are still very high in Johnson County, highest in the 20 to 29 year old uh, part of our population. We still have a very high number of people per 100,000 uh, who are being diagnosed uh, with the virus. Our biggest concern right now are our hospitals. We are doing all we can to get our hospital dashboards updated so that they're accurately reporting. Uh, the number of beds that are available. The largest concern has to do with the number of people who are in the hospital overall. So there have been some reports that hospitals are turning away patients, that ambulances are not uh, taking patients to hospitals because there are too many COVID patients in the hospitals. This is not correct. This time of year, the hospitals are always full because there is a lot of illness as we go into the winter. Hospital capacities get pretty much near 100% most of the time anyway. This is before coronavirus happened. We're always trying to keep people in the beds and make beds available and send people home that are ready to go home so that we can help people get into those beds who need to be in them. The, the coronavirus situation has only made that uh, more urgent because now we've got a new source of about 100 to 120 new hospitalizations per week in the Kansas City area that we didn't have before. That's currently. So currently there are enough ICU beds and ventilators available in Kansas City for COVID patients that would need to be admitted in the Kansas City area. We're starting to see an uptick of hospitalizations in rural areas and counties around us uh, who to some degree depend on some of our hospitals as referral centers. More and more we want to encourage that everyone in the Kansas City area get vaccinated against the flu. The flu is a source of hospitalizations for a lot of people, especially older people, um, having to be hospitalized we would encourage everybody to get vaccinated. For more information about COVID-19 in Johnson County, visit jococov.org forward slash coronavirus. You can also subscribe to a daily e-newsletter with the latest data and precautions being taken in the county and state.